A pleasant day to everyone. I am Miss Carissa S. Matosinos from Anislag National High School, and I will be presenting the outcome of our study entitled Instructional Practices on the Integration of Global Citizenship Education in English in Elementary and Secondary Levels under the project title Mainstreaming Global Citizenship Education, the Case of Bicol University. This presentation includes the brief background on the study, objectives, framework, methodology, discussion, and conclusion in that order. The context of this research is global citizenship education. UNESCO actively helped to frame the Education 2030 Agenda, which is encapsulated in Sustainable Development Goal Number 4. It ensures inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Global citizenship education is necessary because of the interconnected and interdependent nature of the current world. GSED aims to instill in learners the values, attitudes, and behaviors that support the responsible global citizenship. Thus, the study aimed to integrate GSED in English curriculum. Specifically, this study aimed to achieve the following objectives. Number one, identify the good instructional practices in global citizenship integration in elementary and secondary level. And number two, to identify GSED themes showing global citizenship integration in elementary and secondary level. For methodology, this study made use of mixed methods of descriptive and evaluative methods. Sources of the data are the elementary and the secondary teachers and students of Bicol University. Observations, responses to the interviews, FGDs, and documentation of all the activities during the summer enrichment classes in English were conducted to identify the good instructional practices and themes in the global citizenship education. FAO 2016 defines good practice as successful experience that has been tested and validated has been repeated and deserves to be shared so that a great number of people can adapt it. In this particular study, practices refers to specific ways of doing or strategies in mainstreaming of GSED in Bicol University in elementary and secondary levels. The context-specific practices apply only to the academe or to the educational setting. Areas which influence the teaching and learning process in English education are instructional materials, instructional strategies or the delivery of the lesson, interaction with students, and assessment. Good practices in this study were noted as were noted or observed as facilitative of the learning process related to the integration of GSED in sample lessons in English courses. For the results and discussion, Table 1 shows the good instructional practices in the global citizenship education in elementary and secondary levels, showing four areas which influence the teaching and learning process and the specific good practices observed in each area. For instructional materials, specific good practices observed where 1. Session plans are critique and validated. So these session plans are based on validated curriculum guide on GSED integration. Number 2. The use of ICT-based materials such as PowerPoint presentation and videos facilitate the GSED integration. And last, using materials dealing on real phenomena, local and global, serves as a relevant and timely springboard for English lessons. Specific good practices observed 
in the area of instructional strategies are using varied strategies encourage active learning thus encourages students participation so among these strategies used were image analysis video analysis collaborative learning phenomenon based learning use of authentic task reflective learning and active learning likewise the gsad concepts or principal focus blended well with the phenomena or with the featured phenomenon in terms of interaction with students these are the specific good practices observed students are actively involved with the class activities teachers provide adequate time for interaction among the learners with the teacher and last students are provided with ample time to clarify ask question and relate to discussion either real life or real experience situations with regard to the assessment these are the specific good practices observed one performance assessment task actively involve the learners two authentic assessment task either individual pair or group are aligned to the target competencies and number three different assessment task addresses students diversity for the resulting discussion for objective two table two shows the themes of just said integration in elementary and secondary level the recurring themes are developing care and concern for the environment valuing peace and concern valuing peace and freedom and empathy equality and respect for diversity so from this study these are the key points and thus these conclusions are formed number one teachers in elementary and secondary levels and employed various instructional practices in integrating GSAD concepts. Practices that were noted or observed as facilitative are considered as good practices. And number two, themes of the integration of GSAD in elementary and secondary levels help learners acquire skills, knowledge, attitude that contribute to a more inclusive just and peaceful world so these are the significant findings of our study to end to end the presentation ban ki moon the former un secretary general one said that education give us a profound understanding that we are tied together as citizens of the global community and that our challenges are interconnected thank you very much for listening